Warning, today's forecast is going to be similar to yesterday's, but with very important and key updates. Hey, what's up, everybody? Evan Freiberger here, and I'm going to be talking about the weather today and the latest news in terms of what's going to be happening in the future and some crucial updates for Nebraska up to Wisconsin and Minnesota and Florida. Here we go. All right, looking at the highs today, as you can tell, we basically just have this line here of cold and warm air with these warmer 60 to 70 degree temperatures down in Texas, all the way to the southeast, even up the east coast a little bit, going into New York. New York is gonna be in the 60s today. Further you go north, the more cold you get. We have 40s for the Ohio Valley, getting a little colder in Wisconsin and Michigan. Once you get into the upper plains near North Dakota and South Dakota, you're looking at 30s to 22 degrees here. Going all the way up to the north in Montana, you're looking at eight degrees as your high temperature today. So if you live in this area and you go outside, I guarantee you will feel this to your bones. So make sure you bundle up. So yesterday I was talking about the risk of severe weather up in Nebraska, into Iowa and Minnesota, but now there seems to be a chance some severe weather down here in Kansas. This is a day four indication that there will be a slight risk in these areas. Again, this is Kansas, Missouri, Nebraska, Iowa, and Minnesota. Now we went over yesterday on what ingredients are gonna be coming together to make this storm potent. So if you wanna view that video, it's above my head. There is some ingredients that are there, but the main problem with this storm in terms of producing severe weather is going to be the lack of moisture. So it's definitely something to keep an eye on. It's four days out, so we're gonna have to wait until we can become confident at all about this event. All right, so here's the main thing that I wanted to update you guys on. As you can see here, we now have some tropical storm Nicole, which is Got wind speeds up to 45 miles per hour, wind gusts up to 60 miles per hour, and it's moving northwest. Has a minimum pressure of 102 millibars. Basically, all that means is that this thing is starting to form here, and the National Hurricane Center has officially come out with their track. Coming over to their projected path here, and then zooming in to the potential areas of where this storm could impact, you can see that Miami, Fort Lauderdale, West Palm Beach, Port St. Lucie, and Palm Bay are all in the path of this storm. That means any one of these areas has an equal chance here of getting the impacts from this storm. And clicking on this little thing here, you can see that this is expected to become a hurricane before making landfall with wind speeds up to 75 miles per hour and max gusts up to 90 miles per hour. And the experts take measurements of the atmosphere on land and over water, and they can come up with this projected path. It's not perfect, but it does give us some general guidance into where the storm is going to go and how strong it is going to be. But it does seem clear that this storm is going to impact Florida. Now, this is not going to be the only impact of this storm. So looking at the lower level winds here, one thing that becomes evident is that we're about to have this high pressure system build up here, centered around Illinois, Indiana, and Kentucky. This is gonna be a strong high pressure system. So that means once this storm starts moving closer to shore here, it's gonna interact with this high pressure system and cause something called gradient winds. This will cause the wind field of this tropical system to expand quite a bit, and we could potentially see tropical storm winds all the way up to Georgia and even into South Carolina, even though this storm is projected to make landfall either in central or more southern Florida. So let's see what that looks like on the models here. Moving this forward, you can really see that these winds start picking up on this northwestern quadrant here near Jacksonville, and you are starting to see, you're starting to see 45, 50 miles per hour here, just a little bit above the surface. This is not only gonna cause the potential for power outages here for South Carolina, Georgia, and Florida, but also there's the potential for storm surge all the way up the coast here. So this is a storm that a lot of people are gonna have to pay attention to, especially if you live near the coast. So let's go see what the NHC, AKA the National Hurricane Center, is saying about the storm surge threat. So here is the experimental peak storm surge forecast. 
So looking down at the southern end of Florida here, you can see that Ocean Reef all the way to Hillandale Beach is projected to experience one to two feet of storm surge from Hillandale Beach up to North Palm Beach, two to four feet. All the way up to Altamaha Sound in Georgia are expected to see three to five feet of storm surge. I expect this to spread a little bit more to the north here, but again, we're still about two to three days out here, so things could change, and if they do, I'll make sure that I keep you updated. Also, last but certainly not least here, we do have some hurricane watches already for Eastern Florida, all the way from Fort Lauderdale up to West Palm Beach to Port St. Lucie and Palm Bay. So you guys in these areas are especially gonna have to pay attention to this storm approaching. These hurricane winds, they're gonna be very isolated near the center of the storm. They're not gonna really reach too far out from there. But again, everybody from Miami, up to Savannah and Charleston could experience tropical storm force winds as the wind field on this storm is going to be enhanced by the gradient winds. That's it for me. A little update on the fundraiser for tonight. We are still waiting on Kim Corley to confirm that the account has been set up near Idabel so that we can do the fundraiser. As soon as I get word that's gonna happen, I'm gonna release the time. So hopefully we can do it today. And yeah, that's it. Thank you for watching and have a wonderful day.